Vehicles worth millions, including two Range Rover Sports, were not spared in this destruction exercise. These were imported contrary to importation laws. The owners accused of evading tax. 1,400 bags of sugar and rice, which had expired, were also destroyed today at the East Africa Portland cement grounds. Most of the products had not met safety and quality standards. The goods ranging from food items also included assorted electronics, textiles, motor vehicle spare parts, expired condoms and drugs, all estimated at a commercial value of 1.5 billion shillings. Viwanda vietu vifungwe na watu wachache kwa sababu ya mfuko yao wawe wanaweza kuendelea na biashara haramu ambaye inanyang'anya maelfu ya vijana kazi ambayo wangepata we don't have all the vehicles here these are vehicles that have been intercepted by customs over time uh, for various reasons they come in as concealed others are overage others are coming in disguised as transit and then they are um, they are attempting to uh, divide them into the country more goods worth at least 7.6 billion shillings are yet to be destroyed. Delivering the items to this site, the government says, is a costly exercise. So this exercise will continue. Wewe ukilete, usifikiri utatisha mwenzako, au, oh, hii ni mali ya pesa mingi, tutaimaliza. Tutaiponda ponda vile mumeona. The president's presence here reiterating the renewed fight against counterfeits which are denying the government billions of shillings in lost revenues. Dorcas Wangera, Citizen TV.